بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والصلاۃ والسلام على رسوله النبی الکریم اما بعد بائی ڈیئر برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان اسلام السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان ٹو ڈیز سیشن اف تجوید القران کورس کلاس وی ار گوئنگ ٹو لرن ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ تھنگ وچ از تحفظ اینڈ تسمیہ فرام ویئر وی بیگن دا ریزیٹیشن اف دا ہولی قران فرسٹ وی نیڈ ٹو ریسائٹ اینڈ لرن تعوز اینڈ تسمیہ ٹو آر ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ تھنگس نمبر ون تعوز وچ از کالڈ الاستعازا ایز ویل الاستعازا الاستعازا اینڈ تعوز بوتھ ہیو دا سیم میننگ مینس سیکنگ ریفیوج سیکنگ ریفیوج فرام شیتن بیکاز شیتن از دا بگیسٹ اینیمی آف دا انسان اینڈ ہیومنس so that is why the recitation of the holy quran is the biggest thing biggest act and holy act to do that is why this is important and mustahab in the terminology of the fiqh to recite ta'awuz and tasmiya in the beginning of recitation of the holy quran ta'awuz is called a'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem the question is why we need to recite ta'awuz because when we open the holy quran there is tasmiya in the beginning of each surah but there is no ta'awuz so why should we learn ta'awuz or recite before uh, the recitation of the holy quran because in quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands in surah number 16 this is surah nahl ayah number 98 where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fa iza qara'ta alquran fas'iz billahi minash shaitanir rajeem when you intend to read the holy quran you recite a'uz billahi minash shaitan rajim you must you must seek refuge from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that is why this is important to learn and recite the ta'awuz before the recitation of the holy quran let us learn a'uz billahi minash shaitanir rajim a'u a'u a there must be difference between the pronunciation of a a sound a ru a ru most of people do mistakes in the pronunciation of these both letters a and ru they do mix it up au au they recite it as majhul no we must give right due right to each single letter of it for example a a ru a a from the beginning of the mouth a just to turn it into round shape a a a ru ru i from among the throat letter which is called huruf halqiya we shall discuss it later i from the middle of the throat i i bit of echo sound emerge when you try to recite a a a a a for the beginners i would suggest to take a pause when you read a then ru a ru a ru a ru a ru a ru at least do it 5 to 10 times try to read both separately a uh, a uh, then ru ru a ru a ru a ru a ru zu 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 this is not za but this is za 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 and the tip of the tongue coming in both of the sides upper and lower sizers just place your tip of the tongue between the two snizers zu zu a'uzu a'uzu zu a'uzu a'uzu billahi a'uzu billahi billahi remember there is a rule about lam ijlala lam always we need to recite and read lam as not 
heavy but read it as light allazina billazina la la not la la no no so lam always be read as light but only in the word allah allah it has different rule different principle if there is letter before it carries kasra then we need to read lam in allah as light billahi billahi lillahi lillahi not at all this is not the heavy just light as i'm reciting billahi lillahi fillahi but if there is fatha or dhamma before lam jalala then we need to read it as high and has heavy allahu wallahu inna allah na la 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 so this is heavy way so this is the principle for the lam which is in the word allah so in a'udhu billahi there is ba before allah ba carries kasra so that is why we need to recite it as low and as light billahi not billahi billah na but billahi a'udhu a'udhu zu 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 a'udhu billahi minash shay minash shay she whistling song minash shay ta 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 so these are seven letters which always be pronunciated and read as heavy what are those ha sa da ta za so these are called huruf e mustaaliya huruf e mustaali always be heavy so ta is among those shay ta not shay ta shay ta shay ta this is majhool majhool qira but shay ta 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 hit the tip of the tongue on the upper sizes on the on the palate hard ta 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 a'udhu billahi minash shay ta ta nirrajim nirrajim ra ra has a rule if there is kasra the letter before the ra then ra should be must be read as light ra 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 but if there is fatha on that or dhamma then it would be read as heavy rajim 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 a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim a'udhu a a'udhu a'udhu billahi not billahi no a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir tanir rajim ta tanir rajim tanir rajim tanir rajim a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim minash shaitanir rajim may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us right رب يسر ولا تعسر اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى والسلام